Right then, welcome back to the channel everybody. Uh, today we're in the poly tunnel and we're going to be trying to see if this TZR125 will run after 18 years of being sat in the shed. So it's going to be a bit of an old start, cold start video this one. But first of all, we've had um, a bit of a mail call come in as well. So we're going to get this quickly opened out and see where it's from. So let's get started with this. So what we've actually got is Igor from um, Cars Exposed. And if you look at them stickers, they're um, nice stickers actually, good quality as well. I really like them stickers. So they'll be going on the sticker board of fame in the workshop at home. I might, When I say I might have to make another one, so I'll probably put one on the old one and I'll get a new one started for the other one. And I might get a board in here because uh, we'll be doing a bit of work in here. So it'd be nice to have one in here as well. There's actually a couple of cards in here. And one of them's for my dad, so we'll just put that back in. Let's get this opened up. Sop is making a video over the back there for his Butler's Empire channel. So you might hear him in the background. So we've got a um, Christmas wishes card there. I go, we really appreciate that, mate. And we wish you and your family a happy Christmas. And I'll say he sent a couple of little gifts here. And I think these are going to go down nice with a nice cup of tea. So really appreciate that, mate. I'll have a cup of tea and one of them with me lunch, I think, today. So the rest in here, I believe, is for my dad. So I won't get that out. I'll let him open that on his video. So... So I say I haven't got a key for this, but lucky enough, I just thought I'll try this in here and with a cert, it don't fit right in, but if you do get it right, it does actually turn it. So the lock is well worn on this anyway, so I wouldn't fancy keeping that anyway, because it would be easy stealable. So I'm going to change out, but right then, so what I'm going to do first, I know we've got um, good compression on this, so I'm not worried about that. Um, we will put a fuel supply on it. So I'm just going to check first, we've got spark. And this engine did have a uh, bore apparently um, 18 years ago and it had only done 500 miles before it was parked up and then the bloke was um, going to start stripping it down and doing it up himself but as I say he never got round to doing that so apparently it's only done 500 miles on this so he's got his bike running in the background so the ignition is on I've turned the run the switch to run and I will just have to put the side stand up because it has a safety kill switch on there. So we will just need to put that up. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but I'm just going to... Uh... Right, there is a very... It is sparking, I can see. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there is a spark there. So that's, that's good. So I'm just going to put that side stand back down. And we'll whiz that plug back in. Right then, so that's the plug back in. So I think we will go for a start up now. So what I'm going to do now is I've just got a bit of a fuel pipe. And we've got a bit of a pre-mix here as well. I say it has got oil in it and, the, and all that. But I'm just running a bit of pre-mix just to be on the safe side. It won't do no harm really. A little bit of a pre-mix going through it for the time it's going to be running anyway if it runs that is we'll get this pipe hooked up to the carb we'll get this um, all rigged up together and uh, we'll see if we can get the old gear to fire up after 18 years right so what you can actually see here is I've actually um, pinched the petrol tank off my dad's mini moto so we've just got a temporary tank coming in and I've put the fuel line on and I've just put a little zip tie around there just to keep it on and stop any uh, leaks hopefully happening. So we'll put a bit of fuel in here. We'll go for the fire up. Right, 
Right then, so we've got the fuel in it now. We've checked spark, we've got oil, we've checked the compression and everything. We're happy with that. So we've got Soppy here now. Soppy's here now. Unbelievable. So off the side stand. Then you've got petrol down to the carb. We don't know the carb could be blocked up, so we don't know yet. Yeah. So flick that up. Oh, let's give that a bit of a wiggle. See, that might be a bit dodgy terminal as well, that you see. It's been standing about for ages. Right, okay. I'll hold it. So ignition's on. It's on run. No battery in this, by the way, at the moment. That ch choke. Is it the choke on? It don't stay out, though. I'll have to fold it out then, won't I? Oh. That sounds loud, doesn't it? It's because we've got no air fuel, isn't it? Eh? No you, um... What, do you want to take it off the trailer? Yeah, I can get a kick on it then. Let's get it off the trailer, hold on. Okay. So again, cold start, let's hold that choke out for it. Nothing there is there yet. Nah. Have you checked whether you've got fuel going into it? No, I haven't checked it. The carb's going to be blocked, isn't it? Go on. He's got spark, we know that. Right, hold it there, stop there, right. Where's, where's the old, uh, get a bit of, two, you've got a little, you squirt some two stroke in through the back of the carb. Right, so he's got some mixed up two stroke fuel here and petrol. We're just going to squirt that in the back, hold on, let's that, lift that throttle. Is that throttle slowing up? Go on, whack some in there. Right, okay. Right, we'll just put some of that in there, let's hold that choke out as well. Go on it. stuck open. You got that a minute, I should open that door. I'm just feeling the Venturi there, the Venturi is fully open. Wow, the Venturi is fully open. That's why it started revving eye. Have you had this top off of this carb at all? I've just had that open, yeah. Yeah, well that's that's off. It's, it, the Venturi is stuck right up, so it's full throttle basically, so. Oh, it's just... Wow, look at the smoke in here. Right, well, as I said to you, the throttle body is fully open. When you, you can put your finger straight through basically, so basically what it does, the pin weren't lined up on the throttle slide, so it was stuck in the fully open position. Hopefully, it should start all right now. I'll hold the throttle in. I'm not even going to put the choke on. Might need a bit more juice. Let's try the choke on again. Right. <laughs> What's happened there? The kickstart's come undone. <laughs> so, wow. Oh my God. It's not the right bolt, though. No, it's not, not the long right enough. bolt, <laughs> Go on and whack that back. Can you whack it back in or not? Is it too short? I just don't think it's done up. Oh, it wasn't done up, was it? It's just resting in there. Oh, can I get that socket over there? These things happen, you see? These things happen. It should start and run fine. Well, I say that, it's the first time it's probably run in 20 years, isn't it? I think about 18 years he took it off. 18 years, I think he said, yeah. Fred on the end of that. Not very clever. No, you had to get a longer bolt when you're for it. I don't know, might have to get another kickstart for it. You going in? Yeah. It's just turning. It'd be, wouldn't it? That's going to go again. It's, go. it's not in properly. No, it's going to go again. He's going to have to get a longer bolt on it. As you probably see, it's running. It's a runner, so... I'm happy with that. There's no problem with the engine there. We're still going to get it all stripped down though and uh, just take a look at it because apparently it did have a rebuild. I think he said 500 miles, didn't he? Yeah. He put on it, so. Yeah. Yeah, I won't, I'll get a new bolt for that eventually. That's, you can see that's not the correct it's bolt the, in there anyway. It's just a bit of studding, isn't it? Yeah, so that's just been bodged up basically, so he can't use a kickstart, so there you go. We'll start the strip down in the next video then. Well, it's good to hear it running though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we ain't got a dud. Right, so happy to get it back on the shelf. Shelf? Yeah. Put it back on the shelf. Right then, so we're going to leave that here for this little um, Will It Run video. I'm really happy that it um, fired up there. So the process begins now of getting it stripped down. But I'd really like to say uh, thank you again to um, 
I go off from Cars Exposed, and I say the link is in the description down below for the Cars Exposed channel. If you haven't got it, he does some fantastic content on there. Go over and uh, check him out, and hit his little uh, subscribe button and ring the bell. Just say so that we sent you across. Also, if you haven't seen already, I've got the Amazon wish list down below. We've had some uh, fantastic gifts coming from that. I really appreciate that. Whatever's on there goes back in towards the channel, helps the growth of the channel. So we really appreciate that. I'm going to get off now and get cleared up. Give the old man his tank back for his project so he can carry on. And until next time, we'll see you about.